This is Kate Leno, reporting to you live from the usual location. This week I'm going to talk about babies. You know, the smelly things that fart all the time. And that everybody seems to keep popping out lately. What I want to talk about mainly is how people show no privacy or otherwise respect for their babies. And you want to know what I mean from that? Think about it. You go on Facebook. First thing I'm probably going to guarantee you'll see is like eight photos of somebody's kid. There'll be all types of weird stuff. They'll be like butt naked on like a bare screen rug or something. It'll be like a little baby girl shirtless in a freaking tub getting washed. And I'm thinking, these kids are going to grow up sometime. And they're going to see these pictures. And they'll be like, Mom, Dad, what are you doing putting me all naked up so all 500 of your friends can see and be like, Oh, so cute. How about, oh, it's so freaking embarrassing. I know for one thing, I'm glad Facebook wasn't popping when my parents had me. Because I could just imagine now to see them, like, all their friends seeing me butt naked all the time, just doing whatever stupid stuff. I could just take, like, one step as an instant picture on Instagram now, too, because they got that. I'd be, like, scratching my butt. That's a picture right there. I'd be licking my knee. Picture. I want to know where the privacy's at. And why do your kids get famous sometimes? That's even worse, because media takeout or somebody else like that might acquire the rights to these photos. And then you just go online and see all these types of pictures of yourself when you're famous. Come on. You're just setting these kids up for failure once they get older. You be dressing them up in these little fruity or weird looking outfits and then take pictures of them. Yeah, come on. And what about when they get older, they go to prom? What, you gonna show their prom date in your Facebook and just run down the list of all the embarrassing things y'all have them do as a baby? Like all these photos chronicalized is like endless. You know, once something's up on the internet, it's there forever. Ain't no taking it away. You gotta consider that too when you're putting a picture of your babies. I say it like this before you upload the next picture of your baby, think would you be offended if when you was a kid, your parents did the same thing when you was younger? Would you want that picture of you floating around somewhere as a kid? Think again before you take a picture of your baby planking on a microwave. Think again before you put up a picture of your baby's first poop. Think again before you put up a picture of your baby's first tooth. I know for one thing, there's a lot of people as adults that got one or two teeth and they don't be showing them off all the time. So why do you think your kid, when they get older, gonna be happy to see you posting up all these toothless grins of theirs when they were younger? I know, I'm glad I don't got no photos like that around. I'm glad my mom can't even work Facebook to this day because who knows what she might end up uploading on there. But I rarely see no pictures of myself around the house anyway, so it don't even matter. What do I know? Because I'm 24 without kids, so that makes me a freaking weirdo in today's society. And I just want to speak for these kids, because right now they can't say anything besides goo goo gaga. And some might not even talk for years, because hooked on phonics even ain't helping a lot of these freaking ratchet kids nowadays. So who knows when they might actually come out with some full sentences. Some adults can't even have full sentences to these days, so who knows? Maybe I'm just tired of seeing pictures of babies. I know if I have a kid, you'll get one picture. One picture of that ain't the girl shield, but it come to my house. Because I ain't putting my baby all over online. Freaking all these cat predators out there. No thank you. Well, that's Kate Lemon's Corner for this week. When well, you already check out this week's episode of the Worst of the Week, hit me up on my Tumblr. Hit me up on my Facebook fan page. Hit me up on my Twitter, at Kate Lemon, and at Press Pro. I'll catch you again next week. All right? I'm out.